a six-year-old girl was run over and killed by a school bus. And while the investigation into what happened continues tonight, the community is grieving and remembering the little girl. Our Bill Barajas is live now at the bus stop where a vigil is just getting underway. Bill? That's right, family, friends, and neighbors have all gathered here. I can tell you in the last uh, few moments, there's lots of hugs and lots of tears going around as they remember that six-year-old child who lost her life so tragically near this bus stop, the very same place where they are now holding a vigil. You can see them there just behind me. This is a close-knit community. Most knew that six-year-old and can't believe she's gone. Hugs and prayers. It's how loved ones here are trying to cope. Francisca Sofia Isabella Iracata was a princess in every sense of the word. To family, she was just little Sofia, though. We would like for people to, you know, send prayers for the family and to the family and pray for Sofia. Candelera Zabala is Sofia's step grandmother. She tells us little Sofia was just six years old and a first grader at Anderson Elementary. She was a very outgoing, um, full of energy full of joy, full of everything and loving. Zabala says little Sophia was waiting on the school bus this morning near the intersection of Friar and Betty. According to the family, it was running late, so dad offered to take her to school. He had the baby with him, uh, the one-year-old, and took her in the house and Sophia was out here and her older brother went in the truck and um, in the blink of an eye, um, I guess she saw the bus coming and she ran. She ran towards the bus and that's when the accident happened. Conroe PD is investigating the incident and reviewing the school bus's dash cam, but says it appears the child did run in front of the bus. Zabala is asking parents to hug their child tighter tonight and stress the importance of always keeping an eye on them. Anybody who's watching for them just to watch their kids, you know, in a blink of an eye, something like that could just happen. And Conroe ISD released a statement earlier today saying in part members of the CISD crisis support team are working with our campus administrators and counselors to provide support to students and staff today and throughout the week as we process this loss. Again, just another live look out here at the vigil, the family holding that vigil. It started just a few moments ago. They tell us they're hoping that this will help mom and dad as they continue to grieve the loss of their six-year-old daughter. Live in Conroe, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.